Uh, yes, yes, people. Um, the side's come down to um, the new lake uh, for this session. I've come down to the mighty uh, Bluebell complex. Um, I've come onto Bluebell Lakes, um, or the actual Bluebell Lake on the Bluebell Lake complex. Um, never fished it before. Um, you obviously got the very well known like Swan and Kingfisher. Obviously, very tricky waters. Um, I've only got 48 hours, I didn't think it was that long enough from there really, and I'm probably not that skilled enough yet really to fish them sort of lakes. Um, but yeah, so I've come onto Bluebell Lake, um, I was between that and Mallard, but Mallard was actually packed, so yeah, I've come down come down here. Um, I had a couple of walks around the lake when I got here, I didn't get here till about 8 o'clock, um, and it's flat calm today, there's literally no wind at all, um, and I could literally see fizzing more or less all over the lake to be honest, so it's quite hard to pick a spot. Um, but I'm gonna, I've kind of chose to swim right in the middle of the lake because um, I think kind of fish both sides and that I thought they'd kind of move up and down to each end of the lakes. So it's quite a um, it's quite like a narrow lake. It's quite narrow and long. Um, so I thought maybe the fish might be going to like each end. Um, but yeah, anyway, stop waffling on. Um, you've got three rods out, only a little solid bag in the margins, and I've got two rods out on a little slip D rig. Um, just on a spot I found out. It's literally only like just under nine wraps. It's out in the middle of the water, and I just put some spoms out over that as well. I put about six or seven spoms out, um, just to, just a mixture um, of like some live system boilies which I've crushed up, and I've just put some booster in there, um, some Pacific tuna pellets, um, and some, like, some ultra mix pellets, and some other pellets in there as well. I can't remember now. Uh, I've got some sriracha hemp and just some sweet corn in there, um, and the hemp that I cooked, I saved the water, and I've just kind of glugged that all in there as well. Um, and yeah, just put that out, but. Yeah, pretty much all set up. Quite um, quite excited now. I mean, I was a little bit anxious yesterday. Obviously, new lake and all that. You know, the excitement. Didn't really sleep much last night. Um, but yeah, hopefully, I can get a, hopefully get a fish out of it. It looks quite good. I've heard a couple of bite alarms screaming off around the lake, so it's obviously promising when there's fish coming out. But yeah, we'll see what happens. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, get our first carp out of it. So I've got two rods out in um, open water, like I said earlier, but just off this tree. Probably about rod length off of it. I've, um, I've just dropped a solid bag down there. I've just scattered some like live system boilers, um, just soaked in the glug, and then just put some of the booster powder on there as well, just to form a little crust. And I've just probably chucked out about 23 offerings. And um, yeah, some like occasional fizzing every now and again. Not too sure if it's a carp or not. Um, yeah, it looks quite promising down in this. Like underneath this little tree, so yeah, cross the fingers. There we go, fish just showing in the background, <laughs> miles away, but yeah, come this way a little bit more. Shove on. You can probably hear it, that rain's absolutely coming down now. Um, we have no bites or any indications at all today. Um, it's a bit annoying, but I've not been here that long. Um, rain's coming down, I'm gonna be sticking around for a little while now, so. If I'm going to get a bite, you know, it's probably going to be in the next like 12 hours, so, so yeah, I'm crossing my toes, my fingers, crossing the lot, and um, yeah, hopefully get something.
Yes, good morning. Um, yeah, it's been, uh, been a quiet night. Um, nothing to really go off of. Um, I had a couple of liners in the night about 2 a.m. And uh, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just a line or something. I thought it was a bream at first. Like, I took a like, bream little bite watching the line, but nothing. So, yeah, I went back to sleep. And, um, yeah, nothing's happened since then. Um, I've redone the rods this morning. I put, um, I put two solid bags out. And then I put the other rod out on a zig. I just put like a real like sloppy mix over the top. Um, literally looks like shit. Um, yeah, it's like proper runny and all, yeah, it looks, looks horrible. But yeah, it's obviously going to create a nice cloud in the water and then hopefully that will um, get me a bite on that. But yeah, we'll soon see. Um, yeah, proper thunderstorm last night. Uh, pretty cool actually. Um, yeah, absolutely chucking it down. You know, proper, proper rain in. Um, which I thought was going to get us a bite, you know, big storms, you know, normally, normally gets you a bite, but yeah, nothing. Um, it's been a guy I've won, won again this morning. Uh, guy's just set up a couple of pegs down, so we'll see what comes out today. Uh, I've still got tonight, um, and then I'm gonna leave at half 10 tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna get, um, get a cup of tea, uh, probably do myself a little bacon roll, and uh, yeah, just chill out for a day and see what happens. Tell you what, doesn't get much better than that. The state of it. Well, it's been um, it's been quite a quiet day to be honest. Um, Put those two rods out this morning on um, the solid bags. Um, had nothing on them. Um, I'm still just working the spot on the zig, still putting out that like, sloppy mix. Um, I put a bit of salmon oil, oil in there as well. Keep playing around with the depths just, um, just to see if anything will work. Um, but yeah, still nothing. It's been really quiet. Um, so yeah, just going to chill out um, and just have a little rethink what I'm going to do tonight. But yeah, hopefully something happens because I'd love a carp out of it. Right, so yeah, I've um, got the rods out since last week. Um, got them all out first time, luckily, obviously, because they're all on solid bags this time. Thought I'd change my approach a little bit. Um, I've always caught on solid bags, so I thought, right, why not just kind of go f for all three rods, solid bags, um, and just see what happens. So I've got two which I put out this morning, I've kind of kept them there, and I've put, I didn't put any spawns out this morning. I thought I'd just kind of fish them on their own, but I've just thought, Going through the night, put, put a bit of bait out there, um, and I've got yeah, I've got three swams over each of those rods. They're probably quite close together, to be honest. Probably about two rod lengths apart. And then the other one, I've more or less fishing on the same spot that I was fishing last night. And I've just topped it out with about three or four more swams. So yeah, all on solid bags, all baited up. Um, it's about four o'clock, so yeah, thought I'd just get it set up nice and early before this evening, and um, yeah, sit back on them now until tomorrow morning and. Um, pray I'm honestly I'm absolutely praying to get a carp out of it before I go because um, after this I'm not going to be able to fish for a little while um, a few got a few things going on but yeah if I can get a carp that'd be lovely so yeah let's hope
I thought it was going to be a, going to be a blank, to be honest. Um, but yeah, last morning, some help, help of a uh, hill behind the camera. Hello. <laughs> Managed to get this one. I think it was what, 23.6? Yeah. Yeah, well happy with this one. Proper nice car. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Get in. Well angled, mate. <laughs> right. Right, so yeah, managed to get one last night. Well, I say last night, it was early hours of this morning. Um, I was pretty much awake anyway, I've been getting up at six, so kind of stirring. And then, yeah, uh, right hand rod has um, literally it has ripped off, it's just gone and gone and gone. Um, so I managed to clamber out the bivvy and um, hook into it. And uh, yeah, playing it for a little while, didn't feel that big out in open water, just kind of plodding, a rock, uh, plodding along, not really taking line. Um, and then it kind of got under the rod tip and then that's when it just went, it just kept going and going and going and I thought alright it's actually quite a, quite a decent size. Um, yeah I managed to get it in with the help of um, a guy next door called Phil, absolute legend. Um, and yeah it weighed uh, I think it was 23.6 in the end, a uh, really nice common, a bit of damage to one of its fins so yeah I treated that up. And uh, yeah, um, more or less saved the blank you know last morning and uh, yeah managed to get one so yeah proper happy with that. Um, yeah, just uh, yeah, well, that was on a solid bag as well. Um, obviously, changed tactics. I fished all three on solid bags, and that one I fished a little bit further out, um, pretty much in the, in the deeper water. Uh, so, so yeah, well happy with that. Um, only got a couple of hours left, and then I'll be packing down. So, yeah, it's gonna cross the fingers for another one. You know, I don't be too greedy, but obviously, another one would be nice. And yeah, that might um, be the end of the session. Um, if it is, obviously thanks for watching, um, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I've enjoyed making it as I always do, and yeah, see you in the next one, I'll definitely be coming back, so yeah, see you in the next one.